Hi there, students. A priori. Okay, a priori is an adjective or an adverb. And it talks about something we have assumed beforehand. Something we have presumed. We know, a priori, that the Earth is a sphere. Therefore, <coughs> if we walk far enough in a straight line, we will come back to where we started. So it's an assumption to make a deduction upon. We assume that politicians are corrupt. A priori, we assume that co politicians are corrupt and therefore we should not trust them. So, a priori, it's talking about making an assumption before deducing logical conclusions from it. Um, this a priori assumption is something that is self-evident. It looks like it's true, but we don't really think about it. It's maybe some sort of cognitive bias, if you like. We should not make a priori judgment or assumptions about people before judging them. Many students, when they start learning English, they assume a priori that the spelling of the words is a clear indicator on how to pronounce them, as is in their native language. But unfortunately, in English, this is not always true. I have a lot of subscribers. A priori, my videos must be really good. No, the number of subscribers doesn't actually tell you how good the uh, videos are. Yeah, They're not necessarily related. But it seems an obvious thing to assume. A priori, something that is self-evident. It's intuitively obvious. Um, so we assume it is true. And then we use this as a basis for further deduction. A priori, many people think that if something is printed in a book, then it must be true. So they see that this is printed in a book and before reading it they assume it is true rather than making up their own minds. Yeah, um, people often believe that if something is expensive it's good quality. They've decided it's good quality before even inspecting the product. People often start legal proceedings deciding a priori that the law is just and fair. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so something that's a priori is a prior assumption. But notice, a priori assumptions can be true or can be false. It depends, but I think it's a good idea that we examine our a priori assumptions before going any further. So, next question. How formal is this phrase, a priori? I'd probably give it a 7.5, 8, maybe even 8.5. It sounds very formal. It sounds like um, Soc Socratic logic or something like that. So use it formally or semi-formally. Um, I think maybe more informally an assumption to presume, to assume beforehand, that would probably be more suitable for something less formal. And then the origin is easy. It, it comes from Latin. Yeah, um, a priori, meaning from the former. So from the previous thing, we deduce the next idea. 
So, a priori, presuming something or assuming something is true beforehand by just looking at it, rather than thinking about it and making uh, logical uh, thoughts about it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. A priori, I assume you've already given it a rating.